Okay, in this video I'm going to show you as an instructor how to add a rubric and create one for any kind of assignment. Um, rubrics have saved me hours and hours and hours of grading time and I hope they can for you too. I'm going to start by going over to assignments here, click on assignments, and all the different course assignments I have show up here, um, just like it does on yours. This uh, is an assignment, a Canvas assignment, and to add a rubric to an assignment, you get the screen, which will have your assignment instructions. And right down here, there's just the plus rubric button that opens up this box that allows you to create a rubric. Now, if you've already created a rubric uh, in a different course or for a different assignment and you want to reuse that, you can use this Find a Rubric tool. And here's rubrics I've already created that I can select and add. Um, but you can also just create a new rubric right here. And we'll do that in just a moment. I'm going to go back to assignments here and I'm going to show you how to add a rubric to a discussion. So the discussion I want to add a rubric to is this icebreaker discussion, and I'm actually going to create a rubric inside here today. Um, this is where you have to click to get to the Add Rubric button, and then you'll see one of these options is Add Rubric. And this is similar to the box that came up within the assignment. A um, little bit smaller version here, but it's the same thing. So I could find a rubric, but right now I'm going to show you how to actually make one. First, I decide which of these boxes I want to check, and the one I use is use this rubric for assignment grading. And all that means is whatever points I enter in the rubric automatically go in the uh, student's grade. Uh, if I don't click that, then I have to add the student's grade separately. So this rubric is going to be for the icebreaker discussion. I'm going to make a small rubric today just to show you how it's done. I'm going to use two different criteria. And so first, I'm going to edit. They, they've sort of got a default criteria here that I'm going to edit. And the first criteria I want to put here, you want to put something very brief in that top description. I'm just going to put icebreaker questions. I want to see that the student has answered the questions like they're supposed to. And then you generally put a slightly longer description for the students there. This is useful for them to see what you mean when you say you're looking at the icebreaker questions. So I'm just going to make this a little more concrete. What I'm looking for answers all questions thoroughly and thoughtfully. And that's what I'm looking for. And I'll click Update Criterion. Um, I'm going to make this worth 80 points. Now I'm going to add a second criteria here, new criterion. I could, I could duplicate that icebreaker questions one if I wanted to and start with that, but I'm going to do a new criterion. And this one's going to be engagement. And to make that more concrete and specific for students, here's what I'm going to write. Response to at least four other students posts and engages in back and forth conversation throughout the unit. That's what I mean by engagement. I'm going to create that criterion there and I'm going to make this one worth 20 points. And then I'm going to click create rubric. And there's my rubric. 